Hi Weber Grillers, I'm Kevin Coleman, Weber's Grilling Expert. Rotisserie cooking provides golden brown caramelization along with self-basting which brings unbelievable flavors to the foods that we're cooking. So in this video we're going to walk you through how to set up and use a rotisserie on your Weber grill. We'd like to give you five general tips to follow. First, the maximum weight capacity is 20 pounds. That goes for gas and for charcoal. Second, any recipe that calls for indirect heat will be great on a rotisserie. Third, you want to make sure that you tie down the food. This will help keep it rotating smoothly throughout the rotisserie process. Fourth, cooking times and temperatures will be the same if you're using rotisserie or not. And fifth, always make sure you use two barbecue mitts. The spit is going to be warm when you're taking it off the grill and you want to make sure you have two to be safe. Now that we've talked about some general tips, let's go prep our food for putting it on our grill. Now let's talk about prepping your meat and you want to make sure you choose wisely. If it looks lopsided, be prepared to use butcher's twine to truss it tightly. Put the meat on the spit, positioning one set of fork prongs on the far end of the spit. and then slide the spit through the center of the beef all the way through. Slide the other set of fork prongs on the spit and drive the prongs into the end of the meat. Make sure the meat is centered on the spit before tightening the fork prongs into place. It's a good idea to check how the food will rotate on the rotisserie before heating up your grill. If you're noticing a problem, take it off the motor and adjust your food accordingly. We've got our meat ready, now let's set up our charcoal grill to use the rotisserie. Just remember, when using a charcoal rotisserie, you do not need to use the cooking grate. Use a rapid fire chimney starter to heat your charcoal up. It should take about 20 minutes to get the charcoal completely ashed over. Then, use your char basket charcoal fuel holders and set the grill up for an indirect heat. Place a large drip pan directly on the charcoal grate and preheat the grill for about 10 to 15 minutes. Place the rotisserie spit and meat into the motor Close the lid, turn on the rotisserie motor, cook to your desired temperature. Now remember, when checking for doneness, always turn the motor off and use a digital meat thermometer. And finally, make sure you use your two barbecue mitts. The spit is going to be warm when taking it off the grill and these mitts are critical. Now hopefully in this video we've been able to give you some tips and techniques on how to use a rotisserie on a Weber charcoal grill. If you have any other questions, log on to Weber.com, refer to your owner's manual, or call our customer service at 1-800-446-1071. Happy grilling! Mm -hmm.